Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming to Delphine. Or I should say, Deb Chanel's 48th World, where we do Bible scripture readings. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Again, that's Deb Chanel's 48th World. Okay, we're going to continue where we left off, which was in the book of Genesis. We're going to be talking about or reading um, Genesis 28, uh, the whole chapter 28, 1 through um verses uh one through twenty-two. Okay. Hope y'all had a great afternoon, evening, or morning whenever you're viewing this particular video. Um if you had any sins or anything that you felt bad about doing and you know it was out aligned with the will of God. I hope you repented. I hope you said you're sorry of all the indiscretions that were made uh throughout your day. I definitely have to repent. I repent to the Lord, my Savior, my Father in Heaven, that I definitely did a lot of cussing today. I was upset about a lot of things at work, and I'm just hoping I can definitely get a new job, and hopefully it being my last job, because I am 50, and I want to retire um soon, so I'm thinking maybe 12 years from now. <laughs> Will probably be my appropriate time to retire. Uh, but I'm shooting for a 65. Even though they say it's 72 or 76. I can't see myself retiring on 76. So y'all pray with me. That I will attain a new job. Um, different from what I'm doing now. And that it would be more fulfilling to me. Um, hopefully my last job like I said. So right now please repent. Before you get into any Bible study or meditating or uh, asking for discernment, always clear your heart full of ma that may be full of malice or discord within yourself. Just, you know, ask for forgiveness just like I did and repent and move on, basically. Your sins are, have been forgiven. But right now, we're going to go into chapter 28, uh, verses 1 through... 22. Okay. Um, it just goes, so as Isaac called for Jacob and blessed him and commanded him, do not marry a Canaanite woman. Go at once to Padan Aram, or Aram to the house of your mother's father, Bethel. Take a wife for yourself there from among the daughters of Lebanon or Laban, your mother's brother. May God Almighty bless you and make you fruitful and increase your numbers until you become a community of people. Um, wait a minute. Of peoples. Okay. May he give you and your descendants the blessing given to Abraham so that you may take possession of the land where you now live as an alien. The land God gave to Abraham. And then Isaac sent Jacob on his way. And he went to Padam, Aram, to Laban, son of Bethel, the Amoranian, the brother of Rebekah, who was the mother of Jacob and Esau. Now, Esau learned that Isaac had blessed Jacob and had sent him to Padam Aram to take a wife from there. And that when he blessed him, he commanded him, do not marry a Canaanite woman. And that Jacob had obeyed his father and mother and had gone to Padam, Padam Aram. Esau then realized how displeasing the Canaanite women were to his father Isaac. So he went to Ishmael and married Mahalitha, the sister of Nabot and daughter of Ishmael, son of Abraham, in addition to the wives he had already had. Okay. Um, Jacob's dream at Bethel. Jacob left Beersheba and set out for Haran, when he reached a certain place, he stopped for the night because the sun had set. Taking one of the stones there, he put it on his head and lay down to sleep. He had a dream in which he saw a stairway resting on the earth 
with its top reaching to heaven, and the angels of God were ascending and descending on it. There were there above it stood the Lord, and he said, I am the Lord, the God of your father Abraham and the God of Isaac. I will give you and your descendants the land on which you are lying. Your descendants will be like dust of the earth, and you will spread out to the west and to the east, to the north and to the south. All peoples on earth will be blessed through you and your offspring. I am with you and will go and will watch over you wherever you go. And I will bring you back to this land. I will not leave you until I have done what I have promised you. When Jacob awoke from his sleep, he thought, surely the Lord is in this place. And I was not aware of it. He was afraid and said, how awesome is this place? This is none other than the house of God. This is the gate of heaven. Early the next morning, Jacob took the stone he had placed under his head and set it up, set it up as a pillar and poured oil on it. He called that place Bethel, though the city used to be called Luz. Uh, then Jacob made a vow saying, if God will be with me and will watch over me on this journey, I am taking and will give me food to eat and clothes to wear so that I return safely to my father's house. Then the Lord will be my God and his stone. And this stone that I have set up as a pillar will be God's house. And all that you give me, I will give you tenth. Okay, so in God's house, they're talking about the tithes and offerings. And he said he would give a tenth. Okay. And that was pretty much self-explanatory uh, for Genesis 28. He's going to do a miraculous thing for Jacob, the descendant of Isaac and Abraham. Um, and it will be brought to fruition. <sighs> More than likely in Gen Genesis 29, moving on to uh, Genesis 30. But that was basically it for um, chapter 28. In Genesis, uh, basically, Jacob's dream he had of the angels and the Lord ascending and descending of them going about their merry way and the promise that God was going to give and deliver to uh, Jacob and his descendants on behalf of Abraham and Isaac. Okay, so that is about it for that. Well, that is it for chapter 28. Um, always be refreshed in your mind and heart. Once you read the Bible, it should give you some peace. It does do me peace. Uh, it gives me peace, uh, serenity, and it, um, kind of brushes away all the negativity that is shared throughout your day. So that would be one good thing that you can share with yourself that, um, if you feed and, and nourish yourself in the Bible and the, and the Word of God, a lot of things that you once worried about don't really seem as important as they once were prior to you meditating on the Lord's Word and getting into Bible reading and studying it for yourself and asking the Lord for discernment. So, it, like I said, it's a good thing to always, you know, be mindful, be prayerful, be kind to others, even though they're not necessarily kind to you. You're doing it for your edification, your benefit, not theirs, okay? Because the kingdom of God is only given to the swift and mighty and the ones that are chosen, okay? So be blessed uh, wherever you are. When you're looking at this video, morning, noon, or night, uh, bless you and yours. Continue to stay prayed up. Continue to read the Bible and continue to always be merciful and grateful for what you have. All right. Bless pieces and peace and blessings to you all. And to all have a great night and I'll see you or be back on my channel giving you more Bible scripture uh, reading and studying. OK, take care. Good night, guys.